Hello everyone and welcome back to another Payday 2 build video. So today I finally getting around to doing the no DLC build, which I've seen a few comments saying I should do. So I'm like, yep, okay, I will. Um, so to make sure that I don't actually use any DLC, I went into Steam and then into DLC or property on Payday 2 and then DLCs and then just unchecked every single DLC that's there. So basically I just have no DLCs installed. Uh, and speaking of that, for some reason, there is a DLC on there just called Toy, which I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what type of DLC that was, but it's there. Anyway, so like I said, this is a no DLC build. As always, my builds that I make are for Mayhem and Death Wish and not Death Sentence because like I keep saying, that requires a really specific build and I just can't be bothered honestly with Death Sentence anymore. I used to play it a ton back in the day, but not anymore. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> and also this is a assault rifle type build as well assault rifle armor build i would say if you want me to do a sniper build i guess i can do that but there's only one sniper um i'm pretty sure so yeah <laughs> you can just switch some skills around and get grays and not body expertise and you're good basically for sniper or with shotgun you can just switch the again body expertise to overkill and you're good so yeah anyway let's get to the skills shall we so in Mastermind, we only have two things, which is Force, Friendship, and Stable Shot. In Enforcer, we're going to be getting Underdog Aced, Resilience Aced, Transporter Basic, Bullseye Basic, Shock and All Aced, and then Iron Man Aced, Scavenger Aced, and then Extra Lead Basic. Over in Technician, like I said, we're going to be using uh, Assault Rifles, or SMGs, whatever you want to say. So Steady Grip Aced, Fire Control Basic, Surefire Aced, Lock and Load Aced, and then the body expertise aced. Over in Ghost, we're gonna be getting Duck and Cover Basic and Parkour Basic, Second Wind Basic, Optical Illusions Basic, the Professional Aced, and then a High Valley Target Aced. And finally, in Fugitive, we're gonna be getting Nine Lives Basic, Up and Go Aced, Martial Arts Basic, Bloodthirst Aced, and then Pumping Iron Aced. I should mention too, that this build will only work well, I guess it could still work if you get it up and going and other, some other things, but this will only work if you're Infamy 1 as well, if you're gone Infamy. Because if you look on here, because I managed to go Infamy and I only went Infamy just to make this build. <laughs> but yeah, you get a 10% reduced for each tier. So yeah, it's this probably is possible for a no Infamy thing. I mean, I could do a new for me build, but it'd be pretty similar to this. You just have to spend a few more points here and there to get up higher or whatever. If you want an example, what I mean as well, if you are new for me, you can't do this. It'll be like down to here, basically, not all the way up. And you have to do this to get to the top tier. That's what I mean. If you're in for me, this could work. If you're not, it just doesn't. Oh my God, really? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this weapon here? I swear to God, this I don't know what this game is doing, but this weapon keeps appearing. It's annoying me. It's a bit scary too. It's like a ghost. Anyway, with the weapons, the primary weapon, I have four options, and it really comes down to personal preference in a way. Like if you want accuracy and stability and damage, you can manage like ammo pickup, then I would recommend the M308 rifle because it has really high damage, really high accuracy, really good if you want the same thing like extra uh, lots of stability and accuracy but less damage and more ammo and i'll go for this one um if you want a bit more damage than that then i'll go for the ak5 and if you want damage and rate of fire and i guess stability then i'll go for the amr16 rifle and if you want 69 detection too, apparently. <laughs> it really comes out of personal preference, but in my opinion, I would prefer this one and then the AP pistol as secondary. But also for the secondary, the Mark 10 is really good. And of course the grenade launcher as well is good as well. But because uh, it's no DLC, you can see the only option you have is regular uh, grenade launcher. 
damn it. The only option you have is regular grenades and the sting grenade, which is awful, honestly. So I wouldn't recommend that. So for now, I'm going to be doing the AP pistol and this rifle right here, which I have modded like so. Fun little fact about this uh, rifle as well, there's no stock for this, and you can get that, whatever that means, and this, and but I don't know what that even means, but yeah, everything is locked behind TLC on this one, when it comes to the stock anyway. They don't really give you much options, I'm actually surprised. Anyway, with the AP pistol it's simple as well barrel extension suppressor boost laser sight magazine done you can't have a sight because you know dlc <laughs> for grenades um honestly i switch between a lot of things like the incendiary grenades is a classic but honestly viper grenades are pretty good but it does suck that you only have two but they're still really good so obviously armor is iron man because that's what we got Perk deck, I have decided to go for muscle this time because I would like to have some sort of like health regeneration. Obviously there is health regeneration with Gambler, for example, but it's not that good. There is health regeneration with ex-presidents as well, but because we're using really high armor, there's almost no point having this because the amount of HP that you get is really little. Muscle and armor is the two best options here because you can just play the game unlike the other ones you actually have to use your ability to survive. Like with Leech, for example, in Stoic, I guess, your armor is gone, everything is gone to HP, and you have to use your flask every now and again to keep yourself alive. Unlike, unlike this, you just keep, you just stay in cover, and your HP goes up eventually because the health regeneration. So that is all the weapon options that you have, the secondary weapons, the skills, perk deck, and everything else. So that is the build and of course I will as always show you some footage of this build in action and yeah thank you all so much for watching and enjoy me testing this build out. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next time and as always thank you so much for all the support lately. Goodbye. Hello. There. What's up? Wait for it. Wait for it. We're almost there. Time to get noise. Get him. Right.
shield didn't do much for you, did it? Got the shield. Got that. Tracking units are going for the hostages. Please. 